mechanic around here? Right over here, sir. All right, I need your help. Can you do it? I think I can. What's All right, on? I got a plane, the number three engine, magneto timing's off. Will you help me fix it? Yes, sir. Good man. Let's go. All right, Mr. Mechanic Man. Here's my engine. We got it up on a mount. The problem is, when I do my magic safety check, I'm losing too much RPM. So that's okay. what leads me to believe that the magneto timing is off. All right. All right. Today we're going to be talking about how to time a mag to an engine. So first we have to find compression stroke on cylinder number one. First, for that, we have to make sure the keys are visible. The proper size wrench, you take off the magneto, and I have just checked the internal timing of the magneto, and it's all right. So it's now time to time the magneto to the engine. Hello, my friend. I hope you know this kind of Bendix mags needs a paper clip and timing plates for to check the internal mag, right? Well, if it was a slick, you'd have to have a timing pin. All right, the next process in this here uh, timing process, we have to find compression stroke on cylinder number one. This is a Lycoming here. So Lycoming loves the prop. Cylinder number one is closer to the prop. First, we have to take off the spark plug. Okay, so get that out of there. All right, I'm going to place my thumb here, and we're going to rotate it. Rotate the prop. Oh, there. Oh, that's good. We have to make sure and rotate the prop in the correct, in the normal um, direction of rotation. Insert the timing pin all the way. <clears throat> this takes forever. Now, we are going to lightly and slowly turn the prop. All right, so going in the proper direction of rotation, slowly, until we hit the piston plug, which there it has hit the piston plug, we have to install the flower pot. This thing has been there a whole time? The purpose of these two devices is to find top dead center. On cylinder number one, right? Correct. That's very crucial. When you apply this to the aircraft, make sure that it's on their level and that the disc is vertical so that the spinner has free range of motion. Also make sure it's securely on there. We do that by using a lot of duct tape. And now we're going to rotate the disc to zero and rotate the prop in opposite direction of rotation. Until we... Very slowly so that when the piston hits the plug, there's no damage. Okay, right there the piston has gone down and back up again and hit the plug. Now we know that we set it at zero before and the rotation was from this direction. Right now we've got 96 degrees of rotation. So we know that in order to find top dead center on this engine, we need to remove the piston plug, rotate the prop back in the proper direction to half of 96. So now we're gonna, uh, to make a top dead center, we should remove the uh, cylinder plug properly. In order to do that, we have to rotate the prop in the normal direction of rotation to relieve pressure off the piston plug. Now we got the relief. We relieve the pressure enough so we can take it out the piston plug easily. It should be counter direction. So we need to put uh, the piston in cylinder number one at top dead center. To do that, we're going to rotate the propeller in direction of rotation, normal direction of ro rotation, to half the value we found earlier, which is 48. And we're going to bump it a little bit. Okay. Now we're at top dead center. We've got the piston in cylinder number one to top dead center. We need to zero out the timing disc so that we know that when this disc reads zero, this piston in the number one cylinder is at top dead center. Now we need to attach the magneto to the back of the engine. But wait, we have to make sure this engine is timed to the proper degrees before top center so that the magneto fires them. For this engine, it's 25 degrees. And we, we got that by looking at the proper maintenance manual. So we rotate this in the opposite direction of rotation until Five degrees before the magic number, 
25 to remove gear lash. So we go to 30. Now we're at 30. Now we're going to bump it until we hit 25. And then the engine is prepared to receive the spark. I can't believe I missed this step. What was I thinking? We are pilots, bra. All right, there's 25. It's ready. Let's do it. In order to install this right. magnet in here, uh, you should have gasket in there, and that's the first thing. A second thing, make sure this magnet uh, should be able to send spark. Now I'm gonna install it. Yeah, man. All right. Ba -ba -ba. The hardware loosely attached and the magneto timer properly installed. We'll ro ro rotate it slightly. Right when it's sounding. Right there. Now we'll tighten the hardware down. that this engine and magneto are properly timed, we're going to turn on our timing light and move the prop in the opposite direction of rotation. Now we're going to move it in the forward direction of rotation to remove any gear lash. When this needle hits 25, which is the proper timing mark for this engine, the light should come on. There it is. This engine's ready to go. So is this engine ready to fly? Yeah, everything checks out. Sweet, let's go. Let's fly. <laughs> Spark plug. So get that out of there. And insert this here magic timing pin. Wait, no. Okay, cut. I hope you guys understand and know this kind of Bendex mag is uh, to it. <laughs> hey friends, I hope you guys know. This kind of Bendix mag. Hello, <laughs> 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 my friends. <laughs>